Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a uh, shorter than normal video about fuel pressure regulators and why they're important and some of the alternatives that you have. I have uh, showing here, this is an aeromotive fuel pressure regulator that does a very, very, very good job at keeping constant fuel pressure uh, over here to this Holly double pumper. One important thing to notate about running a carbureted engine uh, is that you can really fine tune or troubleshoot fuel, de uh, fuel delivery issues by knowing what fuel pressure you have at the carburetor. So a fuel pressure regulator, I mean the old school way of doing things was very uh, simple. They would go ahead and just connect the fuel line right to the fuel pump run it into the carburetor, throw a fuel filter on there and call it a day. Uh, guys were uh, going into tuning their engines and starting to realize uh, they couldn't really pinpoint a problem or a problem would be intermittent or it would be something that would show up uh, one day and then they'd drive it to the store and the next day it'd be fine. Well, if they could monitor their fuel pressure uh, all the time and make sure that the fuel pressure coming out of your pump stays at a constant level all the time or is throttled with one of these guys, uh, you would be a lot better off. So uh, this is basically just an aeromotive fuel pressure regulator. It's all aluminum and it is made in the USA and these are, these are not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. This is about 90, 90 to $95 at the local speed shop. And what you can see here is it's got dual outlets, so you could actually feed, um, say you were running a, a, a twin carburetor setup on your engine, you could actually run another line out here and make sure that it's also getting regulated pressure. So this is where the fuel comes in. This would connect to the pump. I have mine wide off coming out of my pump here. Uh, one goes over to the nitrous side of the fuel, and one goes over here into the main fuel. But your fuel inlet is here, and then your fuel outlet is here. And the pressure is regulated by using this Allen key with a lock nut up here. So what you do is you run your engine, uh, and you check your PSI, and you look at your specification for your carburetor. Hollies like to run between 6 and 7 PSI comfortably. Some are 5.5, some are 6.5. It depends on your setup. But you want to go ahead and take a look at your spec on your carb and then match that to your pressure here on your regulator. And you do that by turning it in for more pressure and turning it outward for less pressure. So the Aeromotive uh, fuel pressure regulator does not come with a gauge. I'm running uh, a Mallory uh, liquid filled gauge uh, that maxes out at 15 PSI. So um, you can, you got two different setups too. You got your uh, mechanical fuel pressure gauge, which you want to normally run between 0 and 15 PSI, and you have your fuel injected uh, pressure gauge, which you're going to run much higher pressures, so your gauges are going to are going to go get into the hundreds. So uh, that's just a quick and dirty on fuel pressure regulators and why they're important. You can really fine tune and troubleshoot a lot of BS with a fuel pressure regulator if you know what fuel pressure you're running at all times. So I also wanted to show you here, if you guys don't want to drop 90 bucks on a fuel pressure regulator, let's go ahead and place this one here in front of it. This is a quick fuel uh, fuel pressure regulator and you can pick one of these guys up for about 35 bucks and they are definitely uh, very high quality. Uh, quick fuel, you know, uh, is a Holly brand. Um, and this, this does the exact same thing. It'll regulate your pressure for carbureted engine and it's, it's worth the 35 bucks. I mean, take some time, make your, you know, use stainless steel uh, fuel line, um, get your AN fittings, make your fuel pressure, make your fuel system as good as it can be because that is what feeds your engine. So if you guys are having um, hesitation, bogs, you, you've tuned your carburetor, you've cleaned it, there's no problems, you don't know what the hell's going on, maybe add one of these and see what happens. Uh, this is the same thing, inlet at the bottom, two outlets on the side, get a plug if you don't uh, require the secondary outlet, pressure is adjusted here, uh, this, will, this will definitely serve its purpose. So whether it be the Aeromotive 
uh, or the quick fuel. You can't go wrong. Uh, I just decided to go with Aeromotive because it just looks so much better in the engine bay and it's, it's, it's high quality product. So thanks again for watching guys. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will try to get another video out to you guys tomorrow. See ya.